All right, everybody. So this is a companion video, or you can call it an update video, to a video I shot several days before where I essentially pitted um, a standard 5,000 uh, BTU window air conditioner unit to the Mydea, I guess it's, they use like an inverter technology uh, air conditioner unit, which is 8,000 BTUs. The, and uh, the long and short of that, we, um, even though the Mydea was a larger unit with a larger capacity, um, it actually turned out to be about 10% more efficient than the 5,000 BTU unit. And the reason I'm doing these tests is I'm building another truck camper. Um, some audience members had, had brought up, which I was not aware that these Mydea units existed, was brought it to my attention. So I said, what the heck, I bought them and gave it a shot. So in the course of researching these units, I discovered that there, that Mydea makes one that also has a heat pump functionality. Um, it looks a little bit dimensionally different. Uh, the, the other one I tested actually had a kind of almost like a break between the condenser and the evaporator section, uh, where this one kind of looked more like just a big 5,000 BTU window unit in the sense that it's all one. And I think that's because it has whatever's used for the heat bump component. So um, obviously it's too hot and I'm not gonna test the heat pump component, but uh, I am going to run this um, Mydea one with the heat pump component on the air conditioner mode uh, through the same experimental conditions I did on the previous ones. But to be a little bit more fair of this one uh, because of the timeline of when I did the test in the day, uh, the last Mydea unit was tested when it was about eight degrees warmer. Right now, it's just about one degree, one to two degrees warmer than when I tested the 5,000 BTU. So theoretically, uh, this should be a more comparable test. Um, I did also wonder though, if the heat pump unit was just as efficient as the non-heat pump unit for the Mydea. Um, so we'll probably get some, set of, some sort of sense. Uh, at a minimum, uh, we should get about a, 10% increase of efficiency over the numbers, which of course I've logged for the 5,000 BTU unit. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll even be lower because the outside temperature is a little bit lower. So I'll check in here shortly. Um, if somehow you want to refresh your memory or you ran across this video without seeing the other one, I'll, I'll link the other comparison video in the description. It's a little bit more lengthy, but I think it was a little bit more interesting. Uh, or the findings I think were very interesting. All right, <clears throat> an hour has passed. It's nice and frosty in here. And uh, admittedly, kind of a disappointing result. 0.611 kilowatt hours. I'm not sure what quite to make of that. That is uh, actually substantially more. So I'm gonna have to repeat this test. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Okay, so another hour round test. Uh, we're actually only at 55 minutes, but I'm gonna go ahead and call it, because as you can see right here, we're pulling at 0.544 kilowatt hours, which again is uh, much higher than the other Mydea unit or 5,000 BTU AC unit. Uh, it's a bit perplexing, but I'm guessing that the heat pump unit just is not as efficient as the AC unit is alone. So, um, two tests back to back on my part, and that's the pretty consistent results I found. So, very, very interesting. All right, so real surprising results on that Mydea, um, which seems to show the heat pump unit is less efficient. While we're testing ACs, we're gonna go ahead and test this one. So this one is in my um, my 4x4 van project. And uh, off the door of this camper, I built this pod. And this is a 5,000 BTU window unit. This is made by Keystone. And this is a Energy Star related one. Um, I, I thought this had some sort of variable compressor mechanism on it, but maybe I'm in error because I just looked at the Amazon description and I didn't see anything about that. Um, but you know, just for fun, let's go ahead and test this one. We'll go ahead and use our same meter. Uh, as a basis, we know that the 5,000 BTU unit 
that was a, a general electric non-energy star that was set up in the apparatus on the not in the built-in pod but just by the doorway pulled point four was it point four four six or 446 watt hours over an hour period we know that the Mydea air conditioner only pulled what was it right or just under or just over 400 watt hours um, let's run this one and this is a very real life scenario because it's inside the apparatus to cool down the van I'll drop it down this one has a digital display I'll drop this down to 70 degrees and let's use our meter and just for fun let's see what uh, watt hour usage we get from uh, this one all right we should be coming up on that hour let's jump in and see how cool it feels in here that's actually um, it's actually really cool in here it's it's 104 outside this has been running an hour now the first 30 minutes or so I was uh, open and closing the door and I even pulled back the uh, blinds though I do have a little shade over the window and it's actually very very comfortable in here um, yeah, so that AC actually works pretty good let's go back shut her down and see how many watt hours it pulled I have no idea I have no prediction uh, yep actually right at the hour all right so so this pulled 0 0.508 kilowatt hours so basically 500 kilowatt hours now you remember the 5000 BTU unit sitting outside of the pod by the door on the initial test in the last video pulled 0.446 so this pulled just a little bit more but it was in the pod and uh speaking in a general sense um, you know, I assume the pod would reduce some efficiency, but that's still a pretty good result. And uh, I'm impressed. That's not too shabby. It worked well. All right, so just for fun, we're going to do one more test. Um, I tested the van with the 5000 BTU air conditioner unit in the AC pod earlier today. Um, it, it's, uh, it's in the afternoon now, but the temperature is about the same. I think it was uh, 104. Four, if I remember off the top of my head for the van, right now it's 105. Um, now, as I talked about in the van, these AC pods are going to affect efficiency a little bit, um, but the plus side of them is they uh, protect the AC unit and uh, you know they look cosmetically, or at least I think, a lot nicer. So, but the condenser, there's vents in the top and then a vent on each side, and then you just open up the door when in use. So we'll run it an hour, about the same temperature as uh, the one in the van. Um, now this is not a fair comparison because it was a lot cooler and the condenser had zero obstructions, but just as a reminder, uh, the 5000 BTU AC unit, which we ran down here at the bottom for the comparison with my Dia, is the same exact brand as the one that's in this camper now. Um, and we got 0.466 or 466 watt hours for the hour run last time. So let's see how this works out on this one. It is a little warmer though, and the AC pod will probably have some sort of impact on efficiency. All right, so my bad. I uh, let it run an extra three minutes, but we are at, let's see, point four or 0.549 kilowatt hours so 549 um, which is a little bit more than the other C AC but in a similar area all right so interesting set of tests in some ways kind of unrelated um, but uh, interesting nonetheless so what are some takeaways um, we tested the Mydea 8000 BTU air conditioner unit, which is supposed to use that inverter technology also, but also has an included heat pump. And our tests show that that version, after two separate tests, um, which were relatively consistent with each other, that that particular version of Mydea air conditioner, the one with the heat pump, does not appear to be as efficient as just the uh, standalone Mydea air conditioner that has the um, it has kind of that U shape in it where it's just the air conditioner and has the inverter technology. 
Um, just for fun, just for some comparison, um, I told you guys that in my van build and pretty much all of my truck camper builds, or at least most of them, um, I have incorporated some form of what I call an air conditioner pod where the air conditioner can sit inside of that. Uh, it keeps it protected and it also, you know, looks cosmetically better. Um, and it has a vent and, um, the unit, the 5,000 BTU unit that's in truck camper 8.0, which we did the second series of tests on, um, is the same model of air conditioner we used on the initial comparison between the Mydea AC only um, at that time. Uh, now, the one that's in the truck camper though is mounted in a fixed position inside that pod, which was opposed to the test that we had done previously. So anyways, I just did the rundown test on that, uh, about 104, 105 degrees out, so pretty warm. And uh, my test result was point, uh, five five yeah point five 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 hundred and fifty watt hours um which i think is pretty good uh it's it's you know i would it, it the uh, the change in watt hours usage compared to the initial test could have just been a temperature factor um but you know even if there is which is likely some inefficiency in the ac box uh still not bad and that was even four minutes over the time it was my bad i got in there a little late um and then we did the same test with the AC pod that's in uh, my van and uh, same temperature is 104 degrees and that 5000 BTU unit is um, uh, a different brand and it has some digital uh, functionality on the front of it and it's supposed to be energy star related and what if we got uh, just over 500 watt hours in that one so uh, a little bit lower, I think it was 508 watt hours if my memory serves me, a little bit lower, but like not far off at all from the other 5,000 BTU unit. So um, I guess a conclusion you can make, at least off the limited sample I did, is probably from one 5,000 BTU unit to another, uh, they're all probably gonna function, uh, uh, you know, be pretty close and similar in efficiency. And uh, anyway, so yeah, I just thought it was kind of an interesting series of tests, take it from what it's worth. But uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think.